In 1878, Leroy Sterrett invented the combination square. Now, since then, the L.S. Sterrett Company has manufactured millions of these. To my way of thinking, this is one of the most versatile measuring tools you can have. Perhaps the most common use of the combination square is to mark a straight line perpendicular to the edge of a board. The tool also makes it simple to draw lines parallel to the edge of a board. Moving the head a set distance will create multiple lines that are spaced an equal distance apart. Using a combination square makes it quick and easy to lay out a rectangle with specific dimensions. Or mark a continuous line around four sides of a post or beam for accurate cutting. By replacing the combination square's standard head with a center head, it's possible to quickly and accurately find the center of a circle or the center of a dowel or rod. Power miter saws are great work and time savers. However, they can go out of calibration, producing cross cuts that are not precisely 90 degrees. The combination square can be used to verify and, if necessary, recalibrate the saw and to check the resulting cut. The same is true for a 45 degree miter one of the most common angles cut on this saw. The miter side of the combination square head is a precise gauge for checking accuracy of this angle, which is critically important in making frames and cabinets. Bevel cuts on the power miter saw can also be checked using the combination square. Even though most table saws have stops at 90 degrees, these can be inaccurate because of dirt, dust, wear, and incorrect adjustment. Performing a check with a combination square ensures the blade is perfectly perpendicular to the table. To make accurate cross cuts, a table saw miter gauge must be set perpendicular to the blade. Another job for the combination square. The same is true for 45 degree miters made using the table saw miter gauge. One of the jointer's primary tasks is to create smooth, straight edges perfectly perpendicular to the face of a board. The combination square is used as a guide to set the fence and is a gauge to verify that the edge is, in fact, square. When using a router, the combination square allows the bit to be set at precisely the right height. And regardless of how a dado is cut, that same combination square is the perfect tool for measuring the depth of the groove. Now that's just some of the ways that you can use this. When it comes to versatility and accuracy, well, the combination square is a tool you'll always find in my toolbox.